back to my channel. I'm Nikki and this is Nikki's Fabulous Life. Today we're going to be doing a 10 hour wear test on the new um, Hard Candy Glamouflage foundation and the new e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. I know I look crazy. That's only because I'm filming this intro after I've already done the 10 hour wear test. So I have a mask on. My skin it needs to detox after wearing the foundation for 10 hours. I did not film myself putting this foundation on. However, I did start the wear test about an hour after um, putting it on. So if you guys want to see a demo of me putting on the foundation, let me know. I can upload that either on Snapchat or my Insta stories. But I wanted to do some kind of wear test for you, but I'm not good at with putting the makeup on on camera. I'm not real good with editing that yet, so I gotta get a little better on that. But I wanted to say if you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead down and hit that subscribe button. Also click that bell notification to become part of our hashtag Glam Squad. And to always be notified every time I post a video, which is three times a week. And also give this video a thumbs up if you're excited about finding out about the new e.l.f. concealer and the new improved Glamouflage foundation. And leave me a comment if you've tried these before. Without further ado, let's get into the video, guys. So the makeup is on, and I'm going to start the wear test. I didn't show you... Um, anything before putting it on because I didn't want to but this is the this is what it looks like in natural lighting I think it looks pretty damn good my under eye this under eye for some reason is looking very dry I, it's been like that for about a week but everything else looks pretty damn good the color is good although you can see the difference I really need to self tan <laughs> But I think it looks pretty decent. So it is 1.40 in the afternoon. I'm going to keep this on till about 10 o'clock tonight. So 10 hours of wear and I guess I'll do a couple check-ins and we'll see how it holds up. Alright guys. Oh, on my eyes I have the TARDIS Pro palette. Um, and then for my face, my bronzer, blush, and highlight are the um, Rummel Trio. And then my lips are just an LA Colors lip color. So that's about it. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Bye. Hey guys, here I am checking in. I'm still at Walmart. We are getting ready to leave. I'm running into the bathroom, but I'll be right back. <clears throat> and so I just wanted to do a quick check-in and show you. Even though my hair looks atrocious, I gotta redo that. <laughs> um, but I wanted to show you what this looks like. We're still looking pretty good. I really like the foundation, um, the under eye. This under eye for some reason is so dry, but it's actually looking a lot better with this concealer than it's looked in a long time. So with the exception of this hair, everything is looking pretty decent right now. So the time is like almost four o'clock, 3.30. So I've had this on since one o'clock, so like four and a half hours. And this is fluorescent bathroom lighting. Let me flip the camera around so I can show you without the flash on my phone. Bathroom lighting. You can see the, the line. Can you see it? I need to blend better, but I'm coming off a little bit right here from me wiping my nose. But that's about it. Other eyes are looking decent. I do have a little bit of creasing, but I always do. Focus. So, four hours down, and we're looking pretty good. All right, guys, I'll see you at the next check in. Guys. <clears throat> So I'm back and it is almost five o'clock at night. So my makeup has been on now for about five hours and I still have not done anything with my hair. I can set you right here for a minute, but my room is ridiculously dirty. It's 
excuse me, and I'm getting ready to clean it. So I figured I would do a check-in real quick. Um, got back from Walmart and still looks decent. I have the flash on as you can see. So, but how are my under eyes looking guys? Everything's still looking decent. It's not transferring at all, but like I said, I did blow my nose and like I constantly wipe my nose because my nose constantly runs. So right here kind of comes off all the time, no matter what foundation I wear. So the big test is going to be, I was just kind of laying like this too. So I don't know. I'm going to have to go look in the mirror here in a little bit, but I just wanted to check in and kind of show you a little bit five hours in. So when I come back, it'll be right before time to take this off, and then I'll show you me taking it off, and uh, I'll come back with my final thoughts. So I'll see you guys then. Bye, guys. Back, and it is like 9.30. I did fall asleep <clears throat> for a little while, which is probably why my mascara is running down here. I never put lashes on, but let's look. Coming off here, here. The concealer is doing great. So it says 16 hour wear. Um, I've been wearing it for about 10 hours now. I'm getting ready to wash my face, so. I don't know, what do y'all think? The foundation held up pretty well. It doesn't look cakey, like it doesn't look my blush. This is where this is the side I was sleeping on. So I mean just normal wear. But for six dollars, you can't beat it. Shit. And that concealer probably and I know you might think the concealer doesn't look that great but this part I'll show you once I wash my face this part of my eye um, is really dry I have real dry skin right there um, but the concealer for me looks great so now what are my thoughts for six dollars this is a full coverage long wearing foundation I really like it and the concealer for five bucks, it, it reminds me exactly of the Shape Tape. So I don't think you're going to find a better concealer for five dollars. So do I think they're worth it? Of course I think they're worth it. Sorry y'all. I'm going to show you how I take my makeup off and show you what my face looks like after the makeup is off. But I just had to put my hair up for a second. Okay, so, um, I know I didn't show you putting on the foundation. If you want, um, leave a comment down below and let me know, and I will put up on my Insta stories or my Snapchat, I will show you me applying it. But yeah, I think it looks pretty decent for being on for 10 hours like I said I fell asleep which is why this is here but like my blush and bronzer is still on highlight still there eyeshadow still going strong I used the I should the concealer to prime my eyes yeah like I definitely think this is worth it so if you're in the market for a good concealer and a good foundation I would definitely uh, give it a try. So, all right, guys, we're going to go from here. I'm going to take you into the bathroom, show you me re removing the makeup, me washing my face. Um, I'm going to throw a face mask on, and we'll see you in the bathroom. All right, guys, I'm going to start with um, my Bolero face wipes, the almond oil and Maruka honey face wipes, and I'm going to put a little bit of Dollar Tree my cellar water. This is the first step that I do at night because just the face wipes alone do not <laughs> take off all this makeup. So these smell amazing though. So I just throw some my cellar water on.
to use the brush. Huh? I have to use the brush. Okay, we'll go use mine. Even though one wipe usually gets all of the makeup off, I'm using I use usually use two. Just to make sure. The second one I don't usually put anything on, I just use it regular. These Valero dollar face wipes are amazing. Alright, so after that, then I'm going to go in with my Pond's Detox Cleanser and wash my face. I use just a tiny, tiny bit. because it ends up foaming. Rinse my face off. <sighs> then I'm going to go in with the mask, which today is my Spa Scriptions Clay Face Mask. These are really good. Do y'all see that? I don't know why it's so dry, but it is. And I'm just doing the mask because after you wear it, makeup for 10 hours, I usually don't, I usually only wear it for a few hours, but after wearing makeup for 10 hours, I need to detox my skin. Alright, after I'm done applying that, I'm going to leave it on for about 15 minutes. I'll take it off. I'll put some lotion, some uh, moisturizer, some night cream, my serums. And then we'll come back and see how my face looks after uh, wearing foundation and doing a wear test, huh? Alright, I'll see you guys when I come back. I'm going to film the rest of this in the kitchen, but the bathroom is occupied. So I'm just going to take this off like I would any other mask just with a wash rag. And before I put on my serums and lotions, I want to show you guys this. Do y'all see how dry this is? Right, This happens every winter. Last winter it was this eye. Now it's this eye. Sorry, y'all, for the messy kitchen. We've been making dinner, so. Do y'all see that? Anyway. 
I'm going to first use my Oxy Maximum Action. Let me get down here. Just on where I have a couple pimples. throw on just the night dermosil night cream got these at the Dollar Tree I love these I just use a little tiny bit rub this in neck let it sink in for a minute Then I'll go in with my skin nutrient skin nutrients. Um, I that word hydrochloric acid serum, and then I'll just throw on a little bit of honeydew chamomile overnight face mask, and then I'm done. So yeah, my skin seems to look okay after doing the 10-hour wear test. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys Monday. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, hit that bell notification to always be notified every time I post, which is three times a week. Also, to be part of the hashtag Glam Squad, leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And leave me a comment, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, beauties.